Yeah, man. Pound on five point world famous DJ Clue Desert Storm. I'm gonna let these two legendary fellas from from the six introduce themselves. Go ahead, man. What's going on? This is Daniel Daly, singer mm. of Division. This is 1985. All right, man. So let's get right to it, man. Yo, coming out of the out of the out of the six, man. You know what I'm saying? The six side. How hard was it for y'all to actually get on, man? I mean, the whole it was hard for the whole city to get on. Right. right like we really really got on properly at drake before that we had small little tiny breakthroughs you know whether that's you know cardinal or uh you know glenn Socrates. lewis those kind of little shock Claire, people like that but no one really made a mark so drake really like put a whole tnt on the door and just kind of blew it open so that was the first time we ever saw a real success story now, now, how did y'all actually link up with uh, with Drizzy, man? Um, I had known him while he was on Degrassi because I had a, a good friend of mine was on Degrassi with him. But musically, it was from us being connected with Forty, and okay. um, that was when they were working on So Far Gone. Oh, dope, dope. So we kind of been like behind the scenes since those days. But I didn't ever actually, I didn't end up working with him until nothing was the same. And wow. my second song that came out was hold on we're going home what was the point when you in your mind was like yo we made it like we out of here what was that one moment i, I think i think it's different because i think him making it and we making it is two different things right. right he made it long before division or not long but a few years at least before division um you know like he said just said hold on we're going home too much hotline bling like all right. these things happened for him already. So he's like, yo, my my dream of being, you know, a known producer, a platinum producer, all that stuff like that, that was already coming true. Right. Um, so I think for Division, that was, that's different. I mean, I, I try not to even look at it like that even to this day. You know, I try to move like, nah, we gotta go get it. You know, I'm not, I'm not telling myself I made it anywhere because my, my dreams haven't come true yet in the sense of, you know, what I want to accomplish in this game. Dude, I'm gonna tell you my hotline bling story since you talked about it. Um, the song was just kind of like leaked, floating around the internet, and then I just took it and cleaned it, and I was playing on the radio up here every day. I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then, you know, and then all of a sudden, you know, they just put the battery behind it like real crazy. Like, I, don't, right. I don't even know if it was supposed to come out at the time. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think it was just like real, like a real. Nah, legit it didn't leak, even you know get officially saying? like released for a minute because it came right. out with that little three pack he did. Right. Right around the time he had. Uh, charged up to meek right right um right hand yeah, charge up right, right hand, hand. And, sure and yeah. Like, right? yeah so um yeah that kind of just took on a life of its own now is there anyone who y'all haven't uh been around or worked with the chat with the world right man yeah i mean there's, there's plenty of people who, i'm, did, I'm did, did, dj did. clue today what do you mean <laughs> You know, um, I appreciate but, that, man. But no, nah, um, I mean, we we come from a school where it's like we're real students of the game. I feel like so people that came before us, we're still like in awe of them. So yeah, there's everyone today is is all cool, and you know we love to work with our peers. But there's so many legends that I feel like we never like I I still my my first time even being close to like Stevie Wonder was like two months two months ago at Katana. Right. This man stood up in the middle of Katana and literally sang happy birthday, his happy birthday to his friend. I was like, I was geeking out. That's crazy. Like, you know what I mean? There's people that I want to be in the same presence of because those are the legacies I'm chasing. I'm not trying to chase the, you know, we're popping for a couple of years, got got my got my money, and you know, I I faded off. I'm we're, we're, I'm trying to be a, a a mainstay and like you know leave an actual legacy. So. Anyone that's done that, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get in the same, uh, you know, the presence of. Right, right. So, let me ask you, fellas, man, how do we get from faithful to this new record, man? How, you know what I'm saying? It's not how, life. How it's not how life goes. <laughs> I just feel like, I feel like that's how, that's the realest, that's the realest it could be. How is it once, once you, once you officially got the text from Hove, like, yo, it's gonna happen? Um, you know what I mean? Well, that wasn't us. You know that was that was Jermaine. Right, yeah, right. Jermaine put it in the I mean, I'm, I'm sure you, you, know, you. Oh, he sent yeah, it to yeah, us, yeah, and we were like, yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're looking at Hove and JD having, you know, old friend talk about our record and kicking jokes, and we're like, oh my god, this is, right, right. This is crazy, you know. Um, you gotta get get him to finesse the remix to get the first one. That's what he should yeah, have been talking you. about. You, you go, you, I, I'm gonna go through you for that. 
<laughs> I mean, if you want to put in that call, <laughs> that guy, he, that's that another guy, part of the guy, story. Man, that's a tough one, man. Like, you know what I mean? He's one of the people, like, you tell him about it and then hit you, like, you know, a month and a half later at 5 a.m., like, yo, send that joint through. <laughs> it, it just happens like that. You know you what I mean? So many of those situations I could tell you about. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So let's talk about the project, man. Like, you know, as far as a, 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 a whole project, man, talk to me, man. Like, what was your vision going in the studio this time around? I think we were talking about making our most concise, traditional R&B project. At the time, I don't think we knew that Jermaine Dupri or Brian Michael Cox would be involved. Right. So adding that to the to the ingredients definitely changed a few things, as you can see. But yeah, I think it was us trying to make our most honest, most... Relatable. Yeah. You know, I... I the album is in is in like story right so that's kind of why we started with that record you know even though people are used to certain other things or might have expected different things it's like we started here for a reason like that first record is you know it's mainly dealing with with the ego because really if we're being honest about it that's that's more so the reason why people cheat more so than it is oh i fell out of love with you so i cheated it's more i I did something that had only to do with me. I had a, my own selfish moment. I went and stroked my own ego. I went and did the things that make me feel good. No matter what it did to your ego, I just went and did this shit. And you know, even though it's wrong, it, you know, I, I did this. That, that's more so what it is. It's not like, I don't love my girl no more. I'm gonna go cheat. That's not that's not what it is. And same thing from women, you know, a lot, a lot of the same, we hear a lot of the same stories. So that's really what the, what the hook was about right. when I heard, you know, JD come and singing it. But what I wrote about in those verses, if, if you actually dissect it, it's not really about a guy cheating. It's just not about, about a guy cheating at all. It's me talking to being in a relationship with someone that starts to feel like maybe you're cheating on them. And then now you're having to address all these situations where it's like, yo, everything that attracted you to me has now turned into your insecurities. Like, I was fly when you got here. Now you're asking me, how, why am I dressed like that when I leave the house? Right. You know what I mean? I was a cool dude to be around, and all of a sudden now it's, yo, you're always talking to people, and you're always... All, everything that was me when you when we got here has now turned into the things that make you insecure about every morning I leave the house. So now you want to look through phones, you're feeling like this, you're checking laptops, you're doing, you know, it's all this stuff is going on. It's like, wait, hold on a second. Are you looking because you're trying to find a way to leave or are you trying to find a way to fight because if you're trying to find a way to leave why would you leave when even if hypothetically i did this it wouldn't have been because all of a sudden i fell out of love with you i mean because i did some 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 dumb stuff that i shouldn't have done but it wouldn't be because all of a sudden now you just stopped mattering to me right right and that was more so what the song was about how much backlash did you get on instagram and Oh, we got, of course, because you know going. people just jumped to hearing <laughs> what they wanted to hear, and the word cheat, the word cheating, and the word uh, the words that are in that chorus, even mixing cheating and love, just that alone is enough. And but what what that said to us, to be honest, was like, oh, this worked because what that means is this is resonating so hard with you guys because this is actually the reality that we've all either are dealing with, we're dealing with, have dealt with, whatever that. It's forcing you to have to actually say something out loud. If this was just some terrible ass song, you guys would just, you guys wouldn't talk about it. It would just keep it moving. Right. We hear bad songs every day. I Me, mean, I, I, I would have just tweeted the title of the song and I put the division sign and put hallucinations. Like, you didn't really hear that. You just hallucinate, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hallucinations. <laughs> you didn't hear that. Now, man, like I said, man, I know this new project is going to be legendary. You know what I'm saying? Of course, y'all legendary in the six, man. What surprises you going to have an album, man? Like, you're going to have someone iconic on this project man that we that we need to know about we definitely already have we have a couple icons on it already I, I, yeah i mean but i mean what's the last jermaine dupri overseen r&b album that we had that's a fact this is this is about to happen right right so i that's would fine. i would expect this to be you know something that people have to talk and conversate about and 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 keep in their 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 playlists and their their lives you know for years to come um you know i'm i'm trying to make this the the, the next r&b classic that's literally what i'm trying to do and i don't think that people can look at his skill set jermaine's skill set beacock skill set my skill set and say they can't do that tell jermaine i gotta send a beat or something 
Hey, since I told Please. you, man, we're right here. Okay. okay. <laughs> we're gonna link it up, and then when we come back around next time, mm -hmm. we're gonna be talking about yo, man, that record we talked about, <laughs> so legendary, baby. Yeah. It's all love. I right, mean, God, thank you guys for coming through, man. Of course. You know, every day you're going to hit a record right here on Power 105.1 because we're going to make it an anthem. We got this for the guys. We got it's, it, you know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's an we got to make it an anthem, already. man. That's 100%, 100%, it. That's what we're going to do. You already know what it is. Yeah, I got Appreciate some shout outs, man. Tell them how to follow you on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all that stuff, man. Um, you know, Division, DVSN, um, whatever platform you guys choose. Shout outs to everybody that's um, supporting the record right now. It's, right now, it's the number one most added we heard today on radio, Urban Radio. So, you know, we. We're happy about that. Everybody that has their own opinions on, you know, the subject matter, like, great, we need that. Like, that's I'm what telling you right for. now, this I'm designing the t-shirts already. Gonna have the division <laughs> sign on the front, and if I cheat on the back, oh you know what I'm saying? God. We're gonna do that. We're gonna make it happen, Ron Stu. Capital right, if, it, capital that's on the it, if, capital that's on it, the that's if. That's it. That's it. But no, shout out DJ Clue. Shout out Power 105, man. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you. Appreciate y'all too, man. Power 105, one Desert Storm Radio, Clue Radio. Keep it locked right here, y'all.